Good day everyone in this next video in the news and this is in business tech there's an article that might make many people smile it is talking about the SARS workers the South African revenue services workers that are planning a major strike action and they've actually given notice to SARS they have to give seven days notice that they intend on striking and you know there's a lot of talk about people withholding tax etc and it's certainly allowed under south african law and there are legal means that you have to go through to legally do this but this is like pasala you know when the SARS workers decide they're not going to do their work because they're not going to get a wage increase uh, i suppose in a way it assists with how people feel at the stage. The Public Servants Association, PSA, has informed the South African Revenue Services of its intention to strike. The strike notice followed failed wage negotiations where the parties deadlocked and could not conclude the wage agreement for 2022-2023. Now, when you offered 0%, who on earth is going to agree to that? SARS maintained the offer of a 0% salary increase throughout the process, which was rejected by Labour as the price for basic services. Food, fuel and electricity are continuously increasing, thus have bearing on the affordability for the employees. The government unashamedly offered the 0% salary increase despite pronouncing that tax revenue collections target was exceeded by 25% during the 2020-2021 financial year. Now this is a bit of pill to swallow because these people are fighting for more salaries based on you losing more money. The good performance of SARS can only be attributed to the dedication and hard work by the SARS employees hence it defies logic how the same employees could be rewarded with no salary increase the psa said now karma might certainly be playing a, a role if you believe in such a thing <laughs> so SARS exceeded its revenue target by over 16 billion rand the union said remember this happened because of mines the returns was higher than usual and you know the mines weren't really that affected by the COVID 19 lockdown they were going very strong despite this it noted that the morale of the workers at sars is at an all-time low as the revenue service has over the last three years unilaterally removed or altered employees benefits now that is probably the case across the board within the government services and you know working for government is not as cushy as it used to be unions are required by law to provide sites with seven days notice before any strike action can commence and then the psa urges the fine minister of finance to intervene on an urgent basis and ensure that this impasse is resolved to avoid a shutdown of services at the sars which will also affect the country's border posts so for the people that travel across the border the border posts will be affected by this and the psa remains committed to engaging should the SARS place an offer on the table. Despite this, the PSA is ready to pursue the interests and rights of SARS employees at all costs. They the PSA represent more than 235,000 public sector employees, SARS employees to 12,435 permanent and contract staff. So that is a lot of people. Uh, SARS has a lot of people trying to get their hands on your money. So hopefully we can change the finance system completely in future so that we don't have to sit with situations like this. And I find this entire article extremely ironic and I hope you do too. Thank you very much for watching this. If you like content like this, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can get notifications for future videos. Till the next video.